it really does seem like everybody wants to aggregate all of their streaming services whether you have a TiVo Stream 4K, which has that built-in functionality, or you're using a new device like the Chromecast with Google TV, which has that feature built in to the home screen, because what's the point of opening up five different applications to find your favorite movie or TV show? Isn't it great that we can access all of that content through a single application? In this video today, let me show you another application which has very similar functionality, but this one actually supports the proper hot linking. So any movie or any TV show that you click on, this will correctly load that content for you. And again, this is absolutely free. It doesn't need the mouse toggle. It doesn't have any adverts and it works great on your Fire Stick or your Android TV device. And it was also recently updated to give you even more features. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the 4K Fire Stick from Amazon, but this application is available on the Amazon App Store and also the Android TV App Store. So you don't need to sign up the application. You can just use your voice and say, just watch app. That's the one that you want. So let's now click on that. Now I'll then download that directly to your device. Now, as we can see in the background, it does say that it works with the standard game controller or your remote control. So you don't need to use a mouse toggle when using this application. Okay, we can now open that up. So when you open up the application, this is what you'll see. So the first thing that the application asks you is which streaming services are you already subscribed to? Now, these could be free services or paid services. And the options that you see here will depend on your geographic location. So as I'm in the UK, we can see I only see about uh, 10 different options. But if you do this from USA or if you use a VPN and set your location as USA, you'll see about 100 different streaming services in here, including free things like Tubi TV and Crackle. But in my example, I'm just going to go for uh, Netflix. Let's go for Prime Video. Um, let's just do ITV Player. And let's click on Get Started. Let's get started. And here we are on the home screen of this application. Now, before I take you around the application, let's just press left and go over to settings. So for example, we can see the services that I've currently selected and you can also make a change to your selection here. But at the top, you have the option for account. Now, if you want to, you can actually log into this application and this way you can then get recommendations. You can create watch lists or playlists and allow you to synchronize your content. So, so if you want to keep a track of what you're watching, make sure your playlists and your favorites are synchronized. This is where you'd log in. And they also have companion applications for your iOS devices and also Android. But in this example, I'm going to stay logged out. Let's press the back button. So here we see the content from all of those different services in their own category. So here we can see the movies. Here you have the mysteries and thrillers, uh, different categories here. So uh, you've got some classic crime, comedy shows, uh, Emmy award winners, classic movies, uh, something different, highly rated. Now let's say for example, we want to watch one of these. So let's just go with this one over here. Let's click on that. So when you click on any content, any movie or TV show, you get to see some summary about the content. You get to see the IMDB rating, if there's any age restrictions and scrolling down. And we can see this is currently available on Amazon Prime and you even get to see a synopsis of the different episodes. And if I now click on that, with one click that should now automatically load Amazon Prime for me and take me directly to that content. So this is the hot linking that just wasn't working properly or reliably using the real good application. But all of the testing I've done with this application through Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or some of the other streaming services, it really does seem to be a lot more reliable compared to real good. And if I click on that now, that's obviously just going to work straight away. And that's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, the other great thing is if I press the back button from here, it doesn't stay in Amazon Prime. It takes me back to Just Watch. So really easy way for you to find your favorite content, check it out. And if you don't like it, you can go back to Just Watch and then try and find something else. Let's back out of that. Here we have the new section. So this is some of the new content that's been added to the different streaming services that you'll subscribe to. I mean, here, for example, is just stuff that was added today. Uh, lots of different things in here. Let's try this one over here. So here, for example, we can see this is available on Netflix. If I now click on that, that, that should now automatically launch Netflix for me. 
and hopefully take me directly into that content, which I can then enjoy with one click and it's done exactly that guys. So really, really easy for you to find your content. And with one click, you can then start enjoying that straight away. And again, if I press the back button, so Netflix does not allow you to press back and go straight back to just watch. So I had to press the home button there. Let's launch the application again. And the other thing we can see here guys is it actually gives you a prompt. So this particular show is available both in Netflix and also Prime Video. Now, of course, if you subscribe to more streaming services, and especially if you are in the United States, you may get even more options to watch your content. So unless it's for a test, try Prime Video and just see if that works as well. And that takes you straight there. Okay, let's back out of that. And here we have the popular section. So you, you can break this down into movies, TV shows, or just all content. And uh, let's just go to all content. And you can see guys, they've got all of your favorite movies and TV shows, all categorized that you can access with one click. And that should then launch that content directly uh, for you. Uh, let's just try one last thing. And then I'll show you how the search feature works. Let's try this one over here. One click. Uh, let's go for uh, this one. Give that a second. And we are directly into that content. I can now press the play button and enjoy this movie. Now for the watch list, you have to be logged in. So I'm going to ignore that section. Let's actually look at the search because really that's what you want to do. You want to search for your content and then find which streaming service is offering that content. So I can now click on that. Let's say, for example, I'm searching for uh, Mr. Robot. Let's just type in Mr. There it is. I can now press down, go to the left. That's there. So I can now click on that, scroll down. And here I can just confirm that that is available on Prime Video. And that takes me straight to that content. If I back out of that, so wrapping this up guys, just watch a great application, a single application that allow you to aggregate content from all of your streaming services, whether that's paid services or free services. Uh, obviously the guys in the United States will get a lot more options than what we get in the UK. But as you can see guys, I'm using this without a VPN and it's working absolutely fine for me. It works great on the Fire Stick without using any kind of mouse toggle. So all of this navigation I'm doing with the standard remote control. It doesn't have any adverts. It doesn't require you to log in. And in some ways I prefer it to real good because all of the hot linking I've tried with this application has worked first time for me where, as you guys saw in my real good video, it was a little bit hit and miss. Real good has the benefit where it does support more streaming services, but for me personally, because I only use Netflix, Prime Video and a couple of other things, this one actually seems more appropriate for me. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for better ways that we can aggregate all of our streaming services. And I really do think that Real Good and Just Watch really do tick all of those boxes. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you guys know of any other applications I should be checking out, make sure you leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.